Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Deus Ex The Fall. We are in the upstairs section of Hotel Etana, and things could get ugly. We have a guard right in front of us. I don't have high hopes of making it through that unscathed. But then again, if I have no choice but to meet him, I wonder, will he care? Off limits, buddy. Out of here. Intruder! <laughs> Oh, I was checking the hallway for the other guy, but all right. Let's just reload then, my goodness. I'll admit it, you startled me. What a way to start an installment, huh? Let's do this again. Off limits, buddy, out of here. All right, let's make this nice and easy. Intruder. Oh my. Oop. Oh, he's coming. Over here. That's no good. Well, now I know what to do. Certainly startling. Let's try this again. Off limits, buddy. Out of here. Whatever you say. Except that I go where I want to go. Excuse me while my battery very rapidly regenerates. And it looks like our friend, the other guard, is coming back for his patrol. Let us meet him. And we're done. I will, however, take your shotgun. See ya. At this point, I'm in a bit of a uh, dilemma here. Now, remember, I'm not actually supposed to be in the hotel. My guess is yet. I do want to explore things, but I also, like, I want to check the guards, but I also want to see what's behind door number one. I'm gonna forget about the goal because the prize is the goal this might set off the alarm but by the time it does it'll be too late access granted I win now what's in these rooms computer looks important that's a lot of credits how many credits do I have? Not enough. I want to buy a Praxis kit. But what's on the computer? This could actually be a problem. This could be tricky. There's some valuable stuff here. You know something? I didn't actually attempt it, so I don't think that counts against me. I am going to want some hacking stealth. This is kind of bad. You know what, I'll give this a single attempt. If this doesn't work, then I'm going to nuke it on my next attempt. I'll be surprised if this does work. Okay, I'm surprised. Very surprised. Time to get all the prizes. This is unbelievable. This shouldn't be happening. Good. Everything I want is mine. Access granted. That was merciful. So Stuart wrote, Phil, it's been over two weeks since I sent your office my reports regarding the rising trials and the side effects that, to me, seem pretty pervasive. I've continued my work unabated with the same results. Patients involved in the clinical trial are experiencing a variety of adverse reactions to the drug. I'm concerned primarily with the apparent disregard from your office. Should I be concerned that no one has reviewed my reports? Should I be worried that I seem to be one of the few inspectors who is taking this seriously? Regards, Stuart Inspector, WHO, World Health Organization. 
Stuart, we are well aware of your numerous reports, thank you. There is no effort on the part of the WHO, or anyone else for that matter, to bury it or hide anything. We have a number of inspectors that are doing your job in parallel, and once we've compiled all the reports, we'll determine the proper way to handle the situation. We're all on the same side here. Sincerely, Parker. So it looks like there might be a little cover-up regarding bad side effects of, uh, rising. That is potentially highly dangerous. There might be a cover-up for the sake of marketing the drug. Oh, hey. Take an energy bar. I don't see anything else of note around here. More credits. Sure, I'll have it. I can bust through that wall, but that'll get me uh, in some major trouble. So I will actually save one more time. I actually would like to alert guards, but at the same time, I don't want them alerted when they're within eyesight, which they are. I'm perfectly content with breaking the wall the moment they exit my field of vision. I just don't want them turning to me as I break the wall and look like a fool in front of everybody. The problem is their patrols are a little too good. We'll see what this turns into. Unless I could just simply go to them directly. Man, I am done with this game. Things could be worse. How? The inspector is a pompous ass. The pay is shit. And I don't remember what my kids look like. I'm putting in my two weeks when I get off duty. <laughs> Rough. Now this is tricky business because it's very easy for either of them to turn around. <laughs> I'm okay, however, if I just stay back here. Even if the guy does turn around, he'll be too late. And then I can kick in and do my thing. And you know what? What the hell? I can break a wall too. I have my battery, I'm ready to go. Here he comes. All I have to do is turn around, and I am a made man. Should have put in those two weeks, buddy. Only two weeks away from retirement. Bartender survival guide, we've read that. Now what in the world is this? This, I guess it's for this door. Yes, it is. Was that a level three? Ooh, hello. We have a challenge. Not a single prize to be. There was a single prize, actually. This, but I cannot possibly get that? So this will be easy, actually. Easier than it has a right to be. Yeah, this is a joke. This is an unnecessarily complicated looking thing that really isn't very difficult. Access granted. How about that, uh, yeah, 215 points until the next Praxis. Free shotgun, thanks, I have a dozen. Reload speed, thanks for real. You know, I should probably actually start upgrading my stuff. It's getting a little ridiculous. But how do I do that? Info? Oh, there it is. Alright. Done. So, is this just, that's it? Oh, buy it? No, I'm not buying anything. But I have upgraded, so hooray for me. Turn to the market. So that's, it just sticks like that? Yes. Goody. Can I upgrade anything else? Could I do anything with my, my shotgun? I prefer the rifle, honestly. Oh, I don't have the rifle, do I? Pistol? I doubt I could upgrade this. Yeah, no way. Pistol? I could. Maybe I better stick with the shotgun. Dun, 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 dun. There. Nailed it. Because I can. It's not like I can use them on the crossbow. If I could have, I would have. There. Best of both worlds. Fight your way in. Hack your way in. I do what I want. Let's take a look at the vent. I'm getting ever closer to upgrading. And I probably 
do want that stealth stuff because it's driving me crazy. Pocket secretary. Rodrigo, I know we spoke of this face-to-face -face yesterday, but let me reiterate. The wiring in the maintenance shaft must be repaired today. This is a serious issue and needs to be addressed immediately. Regards, Manuela Perez, Hotel Management. Manuela, I have not forgotten about him. I got sick yesterday. I'll make sure he takes care of it right away. Let me guess. EMP. Wow, where am I? Some in maintenance? Let's take a look at some other stuff first before I take the plunge. Uh, but I've been in here. Although I didn't read this. Modern Warrior Mag. Have I read this? I have. I'll take the cocktail. I guess my work... No. We're sorry for the inconvenience, but we've detected a short circuit in the lock to your apartment home. So here's the password. Come down to the lobby and change the code at your convenience. Doesn't matter. I hacked it. Your password would have been irrelevant. If it makes you feel any better, there's nothing you could have done. More hacking it up, hacking it in, letting me begin. Again, there's no way I'm getting that center device. So let's just do the easy thing. Oh, wait a minute. There is a prize to be had. That is not going to work. Danger time. Thank God. Let's do this. Too late, sucker. Access granted. Can I level up yet? Uh, two more hacks, or maybe a couple more takedowns, so I can continue to go up. Well, hold on now. What's in maintenance? What could it be? Also, I don't have the Icarus landing system, do I? That's not a thing. Oh, I actually just have it. Wow, okay, I just come with it. So I really can just take the fall. Oh, nope. Yeah, let's do that instead. Oh, that's where I came from. Although I missed an ID file, it seems. Oh, that's right, no, that was the way I had originally come into the hotel, but I couldn't go that way because it was full of electricity, so I fixed the problem. I somehow didn't just turn to the left. But oh, wait a second. If the electricity was here, Then what's in this vent? How is it open already? Unless I just came around from the other way, in which case, whoops. Yeah, okay, that's what I did. Fair enough. Alright, I figured it out. Fine, let's go back upstairs. I didn't realize that I could keep going up. I mean, there was, there was some information in this section of the hotel, but there's more? Where are we going with this? I'm ever so curious. Only one way to find out. Where are the... Oh, I can still take the elevator? No, I can't? Okay. Stairs? I guess I gotta go this way to get the stairs. The vent? Strange, but okay. Oh no, that was back to the bathroom. Then where were the precious stairs? I saw them. You cannot hide from me. Those are the downstairs. There we are. You have my attention. I'm surprisingly not seeing any blips on my radar. This is both... Well, I guess I have to change loading screens, that's why. I was gonna say it's disturbing, but never mind. To the roof. Here we are. I do see... Oh, it's a camera. I guess I've taken care of the guards, but here's a camera. That is potentially a problem, but I don't see any guards anywhere. Did they just think that they would do a good enough job... Can I move this back? Did they just think that they would do a good enough job back in the, uh, the compound? Because they thought wrong. I got 75 points for coming here. Can I do the... Can I do the thing? Yeah. Take that, camera. And with this hack... Oh, boy. 
I have one attempt. I'm nervous. I don't know about you. I'm feeling this. This should be easy. This is actually a really dangerous place. I'm in trouble. Access granted. Goody. Ooh, that was a little scary. Now, as for upgrades, I do want stealth, honestly. But what else was there for me? Stealth dash is pretty sweet, but I haven't needed it that badly. It's more for convenience. Eyes, I really don't need. Maybe the flash the present would be kind of nice. Torso, I'm good for a while. Cloaking would be nice. That, that would be pretty sweet, but might have to go with hacking on this one. As much as I don't want to. Yeah, everything's gotta wait for everything else. Sucks. There. Now I'm a slightly better hacker. I could already do level 5 things, but I don't like being detected. That's no good. Oh, it actually looked down at me. Well, no good. Maybe I shouldn't try that camera trick, but look at all that stuff out there. So tempting. Cloaking does work for cameras, but that is one eager camera. Who knows the places I can go? I went into the level 5 door, although I could have easily jumped around it. And I'm around, so that's where the camera was. Still not seeing any guards. A little confused, I must admit. Here's the thing. I stopped some electricity. That'll save me a little bit of trouble later, I guess. that thing connect? Just where I'm walking right now? I guess just right here. That could have been bad, I suppose. Good for me. I do see a security monitor. That's gonna make my life a lot easier. Another turntable model unlocked, I guess. Thanks. Access restricted? My ass. Where's the hack function? Oh, just whatever. That's just for turrets, right? I don't care about turrets. The one camera is off. I've done my job. Oh, okay. This must be my escape point when I'm done with the real mission. So once again, I'm getting things done early. So once I do my actual mission and come back here, we'll find that it'll be an easy exit. Well, thank you, Hotel Atana. You've done me some favors. I'm slightly more equipped for when I enter the actual <laughs> mission. You know what? I've had my fun. Let's go to the mission. Good times for everyone. That didn't save. There we go. Alright. I cut away and made it just through downstairs to the hotel. I'm now back outside, ready to complete my actual objective, which is, in case we've forgotten by now, get that neuropazine. I need it. But I have to talk to um, Alvarez's friend at Lim. He said she can be a tricky uh, or a prickly customer, but I don't care. I need neuropazine. Initial public reports show users of rising. Ah! Again. Getting sick of this. Ben, did it happen again? This is serious. You need treatment. I'll figure it out. Don't worry about me. I think don't seen that make before. that easy. So there's the clinic. I could have sworn there was a cop or two I hadn't taken down, but whatever. Let's do this thing. I admire your own. Yeah, we've talked to her. In we go. The limb clinic, our first limb clinic. Dr. Juarez, por favor, informe 
Yeah, yeah we've read Coping with DDS. As scary as it can be to get enhancements, it's even scarier to go without them. People need to understand that this is the way of the future. Lim International, we've read that too. I used to think that I would never go under the knife for an augmentation. Hmm. But now I can't imagine my life anymore without having one. I'm really looking forward to improving my social skills with those brand new implants I keep reading. Withdrawal. So you're the one. Alright, this is it. It's a one room clinic. Welcome to Lib International. Liberty in mind and body. How may I help you? I'm here to see Dr. Cardoso. Okay. If you'll just tap your preferred client card on the reader, I can let you through. Yeah, about that. Oh, okay. Your preferred client card has been rejected. Are you Dr. Cardoso? Who are you? What do you want? How do you know my name? A mutual friend sent me. Alvarez. He said you might be able to help. Come in. Oh, wow. This is going to be a social interaction, I'm sure. Versalife and Neuropazine? No, it was a new one. The Versalife Corporation is a multinational company that specializes in the field of medicine, bioengineering, and nanotechnology. Versalife holds the patent for Neuropazine, a drug which mechanically, mechanical augmented people need to take to prevent their bodies from violently rejecting their augmentations and helps prevent DDS, which can cause an individual to reject their life augmentation and become extremely ill. Versalife is the sole distributor of the drug. Neuropazine is extremely expensive and distributed mainly through limb clinics, although recently supplies have become scarce. Well, what's in here if it's not the way? If you're looking for Camila, she's down the hall. Thank you. I'm actually looking for this. I didn't know I was, but it turns out I am. I did slightly increase my hacking proficiency. Let's see if it paid off. So far, so easy. Not that this was a hard one to hack in the first place, but it's nice to be able to. Access granted. Pra oh my god, a Praxis kit's just right there. We read the Praxis memo, though. Okay, what am I upgrading? What am I upgrading? I kind of want to do cloaking. Hacking wouldn't be bad either. Uh... I'm probably going dungeon crawling soon. Let's do cloak. Another revive pack. Well, this is a limb clinic. Let's see what we have here. Painkillers. All the doctors here are great, but Camila is the best. Good to know. Paul, I assure you the situation has reached critical levels. If you'd like to see the DDA effects of DDS on a patient, I could arrange that. I assure you it's not pretty. I want to know what measures you're taking to shore up supply and get this clinic back on track. At this point, it's my opinion that Riazine is not an option. Sincerely, Cosita Habana. Cosita, we understand your concern, but at this point we can't secure enough neuropazine for all of our clients' patients. Clients slash patients. Turning clients away would be disastrous and is not an option. We have been discussing internally the possibility of substituting new pods with Ryazine if it's approved by the WHO. We'll keep you posted and appreciate your discretion in the matter. Wow, this is so shady. Like, Alvarez had suggested Ryazine? Um... I don't even know if he knows how bad that is, though. Because th this is looking like a disaster. I'll bet you Ryazine is going to be, like, a, a major plot point in this game. So Camila's behind me, so of course I'll go here first. Alright, checking my credits. 1900. Almost 2000. Gregory. Oh, from Camila. I didn't think this week could get any worse, but here it goes. In addition to the neuropazine shortage, the clinic is running dangerously low on Praxis kits. Can you please lock the remaining kits in the safe using... Here's the passcode. I don't want them being used without my direct consent. Hopefully this is short term, but we've got to prepare ourselves now. Yeah, sorry, Camila, but I need it. 
It's good. I, again, I bet you this is gonna be a social interaction. So let's see. I know you're kind. You're a mercenary. She's immediately Jess. against me. With those Ogs, what else could you be? What business do you have with Alvarez? If you came here looking for combat drugs, I can't help you. Wow. Use of pheromones may be less effective. That's crazy. I'm looking for a resupply of new paws. I'll hazard it. It's nothing like that. Alvarez is a friend of mine. He wants me to buy up a stock of neuropazine for him. What? Alvarez wants to start dealing nupos? He knows about the shortage. That went down. There's no way he can afford to play that game. If you're trying to trick me, I don't appreciate it. If you'll start being honest, maybe we can work something out. Otherwise, we're done here. I am the manager of the Slim Clinic, but you probably knew that already, didn't you? So then, what should I be calling you? Name's Ben. I guess you could call me a freelancer. Well, Ben, I'm afraid you've come at a difficult time. This clinic used to be a thriving community of augmentation engineers and physicians. We were really pushing the boundaries with cutting-edge technology, making a better world. But things changed. Government sanctions and trade embargoes are crippling us. Only the very rich can afford augmentation therapy now. And with the neuropocene shortage, ordinary people are being forced to take desperate measures. Doesn't Lim control the distribution? Aren't you responsible for that? That's possible. But I'm gonna go with Inquisitive. This might cost me. Doesn't Lim control the distribution of neuropathy all over up. Panama City? Why can't you make sure everyone gets a fair share? It's not that simple. The market is rigged. Our prices are regulated and our supply is rationed. With street drug versions of Rising replacing neuropazine, we're powerless to do anything about it. We're being squeezed out of business. That's why I've got to do something. But I can't use official channels. I need someone special. Someone under the radar to help me out. Are you interested? Something we have in mind. Well, I'm I'm a side quest junkie, so <laughs> What's your plan? Every day I'm losing people. Ooh, look at that. I don't know what kind of operation Zafire Biotech has going, but their rising is all over the black market. My clients are eating it up. Someone has to be held accountable. Somehow, the gangs in the slums are getting hold of shipments of the drug meant for clinical trials, and they're selling it on the street. God knows what they're cutting it with. If someone could get into gang territory and figure out how they're getting the rising... Someone like me, you mean? I have a contact at the train station who deals with the gangs. He's a gunrunner, calls himself Cobra. He knows how they operate. If you want to help me, Go see him first. It's very important that I find out where the rising originates. I need to know if it's coming from Zafire, or if it's not the real thing, if it's some poison the gang is cooking up. They could do terrible damage. Using pheromones is apparently not a good idea. Why should I risk my neck? Sounds risky. No, I'm in. All right, but you gotta make it worth my while. I need a neuropazine connection. That means one case shipped every month to an address I specify. No tracking numbers, no receipts. Untraceable. I'm trying to save my position here, not ruin my reputation. If you manage to find some evidence, come back and we'll work something out. That went okay. Excuse me, I need to use your computer. Check my email. I mean, check your email. Jenny, from Camilla, I've done a thorough recent review of all the materials you sent over and it is my recommendation that our clinic does not participate in rising trials. I know this is not the answer you're looking for and ultimately this is not my decision. Camilla, we were obviously disappointed to hear that you weren't interested in having your clinic participate in early trials of rising. We can assure you that rising is a 100% safe alternative to neuropazine. <laughs> no. The last thing we want to do here at Zafire is step on your toes, but I thought it was worth mentioning that several members from your board of directors have contacted us directly about the trials. We'd love to follow you up on this matter, follow up with you in this matter next week if you're available. Best. Jenny Sass from Biotech. Oh boy. 
there's there's gonna be some uh, job manipulation for this one. Anna, it's me. Listen, I found a new source. If everything goes well, we shouldn't have to worry about our new pulse supply for a long time. That's good news. Wait, if what goes well? Somebody needs help dealing with a local trash problem. Nothing's ever easy, is it? Okay, keep me posted. And don't make too much trouble. Oh, I never do. My best. I never do. I'm a good guy. All right, we are out. Oh, they're right there, citizen. Oh. Looks like you're packing some serious hardware. You must be an agent. Government? Military? I did not expect this. Ex-military. Just threaten him. That's not going to work. Ex-military. But I got tired of fighting other people's Good. Wars. Shit, yeah, I get that. But I need some help. And I'm willing to pay for it. You help me fight my war, and I'll make it worth your while. This sounds amazing. You've got my attention. What do you want? I'm working on a case involving illegal rising distribution in Panama. And I think I got my man, the Kingpin. His name is Alvarez Uraujo. What? Local scumbag. Somehow, he's got a line on the stuff and is selling large quantities of the drug in the slums. And you want to put him out of business? We're pretty tolerant of low-level crime in the city. Recreational drug use, but this is completely different. Lots of people are dying. We've got bodies piling up in the streets. And now, they're trying to push this junk downtown. That can't happen. So what do you want me to do? Take him out? Nothing like that. I just need evidence to make a bust. See if you can make contact with this lowlife. And then search for evidence. A list of customers, receipts, a pocket secretary would do the trick. What a twist. If I take care of this for you, what do I get? Well, besides the warm fuzzy feeling of making the world a better place, how about cold hard cash? I mean, it's a side quest. I'll do it, but if I get you the evidence you need, you better not stiff me. You got my word. I gotta say, I was really surprised when I saw this guy, because he didn't come up on my radar, and now he does. He didn't come up on my radar, and I know this place was free of cops when I walked in. Side quest. How about that? What a twist. But for now, of course, I need to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We cleared out Hotel Atana, which I bet you was supposed to be our escape route for whenever we're done with Panama, and now we're getting back to business. And another side quest. You know, come to think of it, Alvarez did offer us Rising. I don't know if it's because he was ignorant or if because he really is a kingpin. If so, I wonder how completing this quest is going to work. Would we keep working with him if it turns out that we don't do anything about this? Would betraying him cut off a possible path? I'd be impressed. Until next time, everyone.